said we gon' win Knock me down nine times, but I get up ten Look myself in the mirror, I said we gon' win Knock me down nine times, but I get up ten Look myself Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good night Welcome back to my channel If this is your first time coming, go ahead and click that little button down there Join the fam, okay There's a lot of more videos coming um, I'm trying to keep up with them, okay? They're coming, they coming fast, okay? <sighs> y'all used to me looking crazy, but y'all know I'm coming to y'all real. This is the real me. This is what I'm looking like today. So, yeah. And my battery says it is fully charged, but you y'all know, know how she be trying to play me. So, I'm going to try to make this quick. So, today, today is... The 18th of November I am officially um 27 weeks yeah 27 weeks ah! which means that I'm a week away from being 28 weeks which means that when I'm 28 weeks I'll be in my third trimester and then two weeks away from that I'm gonna be 30 weeks which means that I only have 10 more weeks left you guys you guys and I know I get on y'all's head about you know y'all be making this look easy nobody tells you about the pains I mean they tell you about the pains but they don't tell you that they're like everlasting you know that they don't go away that they hinder you from doing everyday activities you know y'all don't y'all don't talk about that that's what I'm here for okay um because who baby but again, y'all don't be telling me everything I need to know. Everyone always talking about, I've been pregnant for so long. I can't wait for this to be over. And it's been, you know, it feels like I've been pregnant for 10 years. Where? Where, sis? Because yesterday, I peed on a fucking stick. And it feels like tomorrow, he's already about to be here. And yes, he, okay, he. If you don't know, you might wanna go back to like my second to last video, I think, for the gender reveal. So yes, we do know the gender now. So I little boy, we are having a boy. So it's a he, he's a he. But y'all didn't tell me. It goes by like that. I mean, yes, the years have been going by super, super, super fast, but I felt like <laughs> this is going to help slow it down a little bit. Give me a little bit of time to get shit together, because as y'all know, my life has been in shambles, plummeting, okay, to an all-time low. Is it plummeting now? I'm trying to keep a positive mindset, you know? I, I'm trying to keep a positive mindset, but, um, yeah kind of kind of going through it right now you know you see my last video I posted that was um basically saying that this is gonna be my last week you know taking the best because next week I'm gonna have a car <laughs> I posted that video was it this Monday maybe I posted it this week or last week whichever week okay but I posted that video. I took the video two Mondays ago. No, it was on a Sunday. I took that video on a Sunday. <sighs> Let's just say it's been almost two weeks. <laughs> and I didn't end up getting the car. And I never ended up going back to work. So... <laughs> I don't know I don't know that's life right now so I've been taking a break I guess you could say a much needed break maybe I don't know that's my way of looking at it maybe I needed a break maybe this is God telling me that you know I was doing too much and you know I was putting a lot of stress and um yeah just a lot of things on my body that I didn't need to be doing so he told me slow down grab the wall you know but yeah that's where I'm at right now that's where I'm at right now trying to find something else do something else 
be better because like I just said it is November 18th I'm about to be at the 10 week mark you guys he is due February 17th there's still so many obstacles that I'm trying to reach before that time and it's just like stuff keeps getting in my way you know I thought I was on the right track I thought I was doing what I needed to do and you know we'll be one step closer to where we need to be this just put me like 10 steps back so just breathe and think positive positivity manifestation you know prayer okay yeah but yes like I said I'm 27 weeks now like even 27 weeks um my last appointment was november 5th i want to say and um i had to take see look one little bar from battery is already gone i hate you i hate you bro um i had to take my glucose test if you don't know what that is it's like a, um you know what <laughs> actually I took a TikTok, like I made a TikTok of my appointment. I just never posted it on TikTok. So I'll probably put that in here and y'all can just see. got a bit distracted to say the least okay so I'm missing some parts sorry but um yeah I'm here at the lab now and they're gonna give me my glucose test so I have to drink the sugary drink and I'll be back Okay, so I took my glucose um, drink. Um, if you're wondering what that's like, for me personally, in a minute I'll, I'm gonna feel like shit because it makes me feel very lightheaded. Um, like I'm gonna pass out and like I'm gonna throw up because I think it's like mixed with like a lot of sugar like it's really really sugary but it's not nearly as bad as like other pregnant people make it seem like uh the drink is disgusting and this isn't it I ain't had another flavor but the red one so y'all could be right I don't know but it's not bad now I have to wait for an hour can't drink anything or eat anything so we're gonna be here for an hour Still sitting here. It's 11:16. I'm supposed to go back in at 11:27, so almost at the 10-minute mark, and I feel really sick. Like my stomach is doing backflips, and he's in here doing backflips. I literally feel like I'm about to just throw up. It's 11:23. We're back. She only took one vial of blood. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I didn't feel a thing. What's going on? But the glut glucose test is like a diabetes test. Basically, they're testing your sugar levels and stuff like that. So that's what I did. Um, they took... Um, a vial of blood for me which I thought it was gonna take like 11 because the first time I ever did that yes I had to take it twice I don't know if that's normal but I did take it when I was like 14 weeks or something um and they took like 11 vials of blood like so many <laughs> so I was blessed this time they only took one 
and I was out of there. This is probably like my quickest appointment. No, I'm lying because when you take your glucose test, you have to wait. And I had to wait an hour before I could go back in. So I'm lying. But the appointment in itself, you know, by getting there, going to the lab, going back to the clinic to meet my OBY. OBY. OBYN. OB, OBGYN. There you go. Um, and then going back to the lab to take the glucose drink. That was a quick process. Like, I don't think they ever got me in and out like that before. I'm always there for like three fucking hours. So, that was good. Um, I, you know, what I, what people always say, if there's no call back, you're good. If they call you, it's a problem. So, they haven't called. I haven't heard anything back from that. Everything is good. Um, he's measuring where he needs to be measuring. His heart rate is good. Um... When I turned 28 weeks, she did tell me that I'm going to have to start doing kick counts, which I think I already do. Like, I'm always, I don't want to be that, like, not crazy, because I don't want to call y'all crazy, but just, like, overthinking pregnant person that goes to the ER for every single thing. So, I just be like, it's okay, it's okay. So, I do monitor him. And I know when he should be moving, you know, because um, usually it's after I eat or drink something really cold or lately. Okay, let me tell you. <laughs> lately, he has been having me up till like the crack of dawn because he, he be up. He be up. And then it's not only him being up because I think I could sleep through him moving sometimes. But it's the fact that he he's in there. With his elbows like elbows knees butt head i don't know whatever is big on him he be having it all in my shit okay and it's uncomfortable it just feels like i don't know i want to say it feels like extreme gas constipation or it just feels like there's literally a big rock like on one side and he only does it on one side too it's crazy but then when I maneuver to a different position like if I'm laying on my left side I feel all that pressure on my left side but then when I switch over to my right side he maneuvers from this area all the way over here so now I feel the pressure over here Yeah. So I'll be going to sleep till like probably seven to nine in the morning. And then you you gotta count in the times you gotta get up to go to the bathroom and pee in the middle of the night. So when I get up to go pee in the middle of the night, get back in the bed, it's a possibility you're not gonna be able to go back to sleep. Or now you did a snack. You know. Um What else is new? Trying to give y'all some some updates. Um, I think I had my first hemorrhoid. <laughs> TMI. That's what you're here for. I think I had my first hemorrhoid, or something was just wrong back there because, like, two times I went to the bathroom, and then when I wiped, it was blood, like I was bleeding, but there was no blood in the toilet. Is that what that is? I'm going to ask my doctor. But yeah, it was no blood in the toilet, but blood in my booty. It was blood in my booty, but it didn't really hurt when I wiped. So I don't know. I can't say I ever had a hemorrhoid before. So I don't know. I don't know. But um, I've been taking my prenatals every day like you're supposed to. I think I'm getting used to swallowing them big old horse pills now so <laughs> um i do have some notes i'm trying to tell y'all some stuff before this fucking camera turn off not that it's turning off now but you never know okay um uh, my stomach has been itching 
a lot and I've been trying to use everything up under the sun calamine lotion coconut oil baby oil um, what else ambi cream just all type of different shit okay and it, it itches it itches and I try not to itch because I don't want the stretch marks that I already have to get worse but um yeah so I try not to itch because um I don't want the stretch marks that I already have to grow more than they're already gonna grow because <laughs> I probably do um, a stretch mark timeline because baby baby I try not to be like self-conscious about it because at the end of the day you're growing a human and your body is stretching to abnormal proportions so I mean it is what it is and I know everybody don't get stretch marks. Some people do get stretch marks. You know, everybody can't have that. Just flawless, smooth, stretch markless baby belly. I hear it's hereditary. So, and I have stretch marks everywhere. Like, I knew I was going to get some stretch marks. I already had stretch marks on my tummy. You just couldn't see them. Like now, because they're stretching, you can see them. As I have said, complete transparency okay so i do have stretch marks i'm gonna show y'all my belly 27 weeks okay there's him But I have stretch marks everywhere. My arms, my elbows, my fucking back, my, behind my knees, my hips, the side of my, um, like everywhere. I knew it was bound to happen. Okay, bound to happen. My boobs don't hurt nearly as much as they have before, like to touch or whatever. Um, but I do feel like, I don't know if I said this before, but when my nipples get hard, they don't hurt like to touch well don't don't pat them like i just did yeah that's different but oh when my nipples get hard now they have like this okay you know how they're like normally squishy they feel like skin when you pinch them now when they get hard they feel like they have a puffy sensation to them and it's kind of like I don't want to say rock because it's not a rock, but it feels like your skin is just puffy. I don't know how to how to describe it, but it doesn't feel normal like a nipple anymore. And I feel like that's because there's milk in there. I don't know, but my boob in a hole has simmered down because I used to not be able to. Mm, I mean, I still can't wear bras. Bras hurt. And it's, it's because I was in a double H before. I'm probably in a K now. So it's because they don't fit. They hurt. And then when I put them on, they like sit on the top of my stomach. You know, the underwear. So your boobs go in here and you have the underwear that just sits on your stomach area. Yeah. And then they be pinching my sides and grow. Like I said, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, I have been trying to like clean, organize, and throw away stuff that I don't need in order to make room for the baby. So that's something. So um, a lot of his stuff is going to start coming in and I have somewhere to put it. Um, maybe I'll do a video on some of the stuff that I already have for him y'all want to see that also let me know what y'all want to see comment in the comments and let me know what videos y'all would like to see um and stuff like that so yeah i have some ideas but like i have to start doing those things first you know so we'll see but that will be it for now and i'll see y'all in my next video bye